We ready to go? Let's do it. Let's do it. Welcome back to the You Should Know podcast. Ooh, I'm looking at myself in the little monitor right now. You know what time it is. If it's the intro, I got these shades on for the audio listeners. You're missing out. It's okay. Enjoy it. Enjoy this audio experience that you're about to go through and endeavor. Huh? There we go using high diction at the beginning of the podcast. That's what I like to see. But for the audio listeners, I got something for you. Since you can't see what we got going on here in the studio, I'm going to give you a little vocal representation. <clears throat> Welcome back to the You Should Know podcast. To the You Should Know podcast. 35 and up only. 35 and up only. This is for the grown folks. Don't worry. The kids are at home with the babysitter. One more time. Welcome back, everybody, to the You Should Know podcast. You know, my digital footprint, there's going to be a time where I look back on this episode specifically, and I'm like, I wish I never put that out. Because why did I just do that? Welcome back to the You Should Know Podcast, Season 2, Episode 16, back on another Monday, guys. Oh, we're here, aren't we? We're here. You know the deal. You know the deal. If you're watching this podcast right now, and you look below you, and you see that subscribe button isn't pressed, you're wrong. Don't worry about that. You can go ahead and fix that. See it. Click it. Go ahead. Click that thing right there. Hit that subscribe button. Also, we are a family here at the You Should Know Podcast, not just us on this set talking into these mics, looking into these cameras. No, 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 no. We're a family all together. If you're watching this, listen to this. And I want to talk to you. I reply to every single comment. I want to hear from you. Go ahead and say hello right now in the comment section. If your name's not there, you're wrong. Go ahead and get you some good karma. It's free to do so. I wouldn't ask you to do something that costs you money. I might. I would like to, actually, because it would be nice to get a little bit of bread. But that's not why I love you guys. I don't love y'all for monetary support. No, 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 no. No. I just want to build this community, and it is growing vastly, quickly. It is growing at a rapid speed, and I love it because I want to have a big, nice, happy family, and I love reading y'all's comments, and I love talking to you. I love reading your DMs. God, it's so great. It's so great. Speaking of a growing family, we are on the road to 10K, almost at 10,000 subscribers here on the You Should Know podcast. Unbelievable. Unbelievable to even be saying that. 10,000 subscribers has been a, a goal of mine since I've started this channel. And I know there's other creators out there that have a significant amount of more subscribers. And that's good. Good for them. And they might be like, 10,000. Come on, I can do that overnight. Well, guess what? Everybody moves at their own speed. Don't run from the grind. Damian Lillard. Once we hit 10,000 subscribers on this channel... I might shed a tear out of the right oho. It might be a, a moving experience. It will be a moving experience, and I might shed a few tears. Will you see the tears? Probably not. But just know that they did happen, and I will celebrate it, and uh, I, I love y'all so, 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 so much, each and every one of you, for coming and, and talking with me, listening to me talk giving me a, a platform to get this weirdness out. Now, speaking of weirdness, I do want to address something. And it, it has been prevalent here at the beginning of this podcast that I have been, you know, a little strange. You know what I mean? I get a lot of comments. Actually, I got a comment last week, and it, I think it was from one of the OG supporters. I think it was Sebastian. Was it Sebastian? I don't know. Uh, it was like, Peyton's getting progressively weirder every week. I'm getting concerned for him. That's not... Don't be concerned. This is who I am, all right? I'm not this, I'm not a cool guy. Let's just put it out there. Oops, the cat's out of the bag. Payton's not cool, all right? He's a little strange. He's a little weird. I just like to have a good old time. That's it. I'm not getting weirder every episode. I'm just showing more of myself. And it's not like I was hiding myself from y'all, but I didn't want to scare y'all off. I didn't know if y'all were going to be here. Oh, you might be wondering, Peyton, you're wearing the same thing you wore last week, probably the week before that too. You know why I'm wearing this? It's this You Should Know shirt. On the back it says, Studios, a place to create. You know why I wear these fabrics every week? Because it's just so 
comfortable. It's so nice. I always get compliments when I go out. Like, ooh, that shirt is so nice. Where'd you get it? You should know studios.com is where you get these fabrics. It's so nice. Sits on me so good. I love when y'all when y'all purchase the shirts at youshouldknowstudios.com and y'all send me pictures of you wearing the fabrics. Oh my God, it makes me so happy. It's so crazy that out there in the world, there's people just wearing these shirts, supporting the brand, supporting the show. That's like guerrilla marketing. We're out on the streets because we're a family. We're all in this together. We all want this show to grow. We're going to do what we have to and do what we can to make it grow, whether that's sharing these videos, whether that's subscribing to the channel, whether that's leaving a comment, whether that's going on the streets and wearing these shirts. The hoodies are all sold out. We did it, guys. We did it. The shirts are all or the, excuse me, the hoodies are all sold out. The shirts are on, on their way out. We have about, I would say, 11 more shirts to go. And then everything is sold out. These shirts and the hoodies, never going to be sold again. You are a part of an elite group if you have one of these. We are, we are, uh, we are on the way to sell these out. I can't wait for that day. So I can drop this new merch that's coming out. Ooh, it's fire. Oh, it's fire. It's so nice. Completely different from this. Not too different. We're going to have some stuff that's similar, but this next merch drop is going to be for the fans. This is it. like the, if you're a fan of this show and the stories and what I talk about and like the inside jokes that we all have, then you're going to uh, really like this merch drop. Let's get into the rest of the episode. I have a lot to talk about, some funny stories. This week, it was honestly insane. It might not have been the best week in my life. Not the best. Very stressful times, but it makes for great content, and that's the, 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 the rainbow at the end of the tunnel. Is that an expression? Probably not, but you know me. I make stuff up because why? I can do it. Who's going to stop me? Who's going to stop you from making stuff up? Who? Just make it up. So I got some great, great stories for you guys. And uh, let's get into this Manscaped ad. Don't you dare skip it. Don't you dare skip it because I put a lot of time and effort into these ads. And they do help out the show a lot. So shout out to Manscaped. I love y'all. Uh, let's get into the rest of the episode. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. What am I reading, you ask? Oh, I'm just reading a little thing called Manscaped. Oh, you want to know about Manscaped? Let me tell you. There's a certain confidence that comes with being properly groomed. There's an aura, a vibe. You can just tell by the way they carry themselves. We call that that BGE, that big groomed energy. And there's only one way to obtain that BGE, and that's through Manscaped. We'd like to introduce you to their best and biggest ultimate hygiene bundle yet, the Platinum Package 4.0. Manscaped is the leader in below-the-waist grooming, now trust them with the rest. Join the 4 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped by going to manscaped.com for 20% off and free worldwide shipping with code PSH at checkout. Inside this platinum package, you'll find their Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, Weed Whacker Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer, Ultra Platinum Body Wash, Ultra Premium 2-in-1 Shampoo and Conditioner, Ultra Premium Deodorant, Crop Preserver Anti-Chafing Ball Deodorant, Crop Reviver Ball Spray Toner, Anti-Chafing Boxers, and the Shed Travel Bag to hold all your goods while traveling. You tell me anywhere else you can get such a premium performance package. Manscaped has everything. I use Manscaped. I would never tell y'all about something if I don't use it. I genuinely do use Manscaped. I know I've been like talking in a certain kind. I genuinely do use this stuff and it's amazing. Like without Manscaped, I'd be lost. I'd have some embarrassing moments. I know a lot of you out there have had some embarrassing moments and that's okay. I'm here to end that. Go to manscaped.com. Use promo code PSH at checkout for 20% off and free worldwide shipping. Let's take care of ourselves, fellas. Ladies, if you're watching this, take care of a guy you know. Oh, he'll appreciate and I'm sure you will too. Go to manscaped.com, promo code PSH at checkout, 20% off and free worldwide shipping. Now back to the podcast. The you Should Know Podcast. So this week I went to an AAU basketball tournament. Because I just love being around the sport. It's a great time. I, I just, those were the glory days when you would just travel on a bus or a van or not a bus. Who, who the hell's getting buses? The, the great teams that have a lot of money, not us. We didn't get a bus. Um, 
it just it takes me back to those glory days just getting in a van with your best buds your teammates and going traveling and hooping no stress in the world you're 16 years old however old you are and you're just hooping in a different city making friends talking to college scouts setting up your future it's it was the best time so i like to be around the environment so i went to an aau tournament this past weekend and I met a lot of you guys there. It was a great time. Actually, a funny thing that happened was I was sitting uh, with my old high school basketball coach and my old AAU teammate and high school teammate. We were just all there sitting and talking and kind of watching the game, kind of not. We were really just catching up, telling stories. That's what the fun part was. And there was a team playing right in front of us. And this kid, uh, shout out to you if you're watching this. This kid was like, it was in the middle of a possession. He was playing defense and he was off the ball. And he was closest to us. He had his hands on his knees. And he looks over at me. And he's like, hey, man, I really like your videos. And I'm like, bro, thank you. But play the game. What are you doing? Like, you shouldn't be focused on me. I mean, they were whooping that team, I think, if I remember correctly. But it was a great time meeting all of you guys. Y'all are so nice. Y'all are the best fans and supporters in the world. Thinking back to my athletic days, there was a lot of awkward team sports moments. I think every team globally had that one hot-headed teammate that just made things uncomfortable and awkward for no reason. Like if something in the game wasn't going right, you knew that this player was going to throw a tantrum, their temper would be through the roof and just make things a mess. Like say this teammate messed up and they get subbed out of the game, everybody else on the team knew like, oh no, Jerry's about to throw a tantrum. Like things are about to get real bad on the sidelines. Like everybody has gone through this with their hot-headed teammate. This teammate would come on on the bench after getting subbed out and they're mad and they would just start throwing stuff everywhere causing a scene and now it's awkward we just have to sit there and deal with it because what else are we going to do if we try to talk to him he's just going to get mad at us now we're involved i don't want to be involved in that everybody in the gym is looking at us looking at him throwing a tantrum how are we supposed to deal with this situation you're making it awkward for everybody i had a teammate one time kick my water bottle across the gym not only is that embarrassing, but now I have no beverage. What am I supposed to do for my hydration? I think every team also had that non-motivational speaker, that guy that would always try to rile the team up and bring us in and have a speech with us, but they weren't too good at that craft. Like say we were down in a game, this teammate would try to rile up the troops and have us sit down and give us a motivational speech that he probably got from a movie and isn't reciting it right. And now things are awkward. Not only are we unmotivated, but now we're a little confused and I'm starting to sweat because I'm anxious and you're making things uncomfortable. I kid you not, we had a teammate one year try to give this motivational speech that was just going downhill the more he talked. He was like, come on guys, we're lions in this jungle. We don't worry about the hyenas and the sheep hyenas what are we what are you saying to me right now what does that have to do with this basketball game i've never even met a hyena what is the correlation to this basketball game and what you're trying to say to me i can't be the only one that has gone through this everybody has had these type of teammates i also have this story from my aau days and i i literally don't know if i can put this out honestly i've had this story for a while and i've been wanting to tell it but it's a bad story like i honestly don't know if this is going to come out. Like, I might just be talking to nobody. So if this does come out, just know that it went through a team of revisions. Like, it, it got approved for different levels. So don't put this on me if uh, people get in trouble for this. Because I asked around. I'm not snitching. But, uh, <laughs> God, I don't know if I'm going to say this. is definitely not going on TikTok. Definitely not going on TikTok. Um, so this is just for the YouTube audience, I guess. I don't know even if this is for the YouTube audience. I'm so scared to tell this. Um, so our AAU team back in the day was very good. We would never lost. Like we were very good and we were playing like top teams in the nation and we were beating them all. And we had guys on our team like dudes, like buckets. Some dudes that you probably know of now that are uh, – very uh, successful in their basketball careers. But this has this story has nothing to do with those guys. We had some dudes on our team that were really good. Um, like they would drop like 40 a game, scholarships, have 10 to 20 coaches at every game, college recruits at every game. It was unbelievable. Now, in the AAU days, I wasn't like – I am not supposed to be a good basketball player, right? Like I worked to be a good basketball player. Like, if I just didn't work, like, I would be a bum. I would have been, t like, bad. So any success I got through basketball was because I had to, like, really dedicate myself. I wasn't, like, naturally just gifted at that sport. So I played everything by the rules. 
we went to this tournament out in Kansas, right? <laughs> oh, God. We went to this tournament out in Kansas. And we got there the night before the tournament started. It was probably like a Friday night we got there. Oh, we got there during like Friday day, excuse me. We got there Friday day. You can tell I'm nervous telling this story because I'm messing up, like I'm fumbling my words. Um, we got there Friday day, and as a team, we we're like, okay, we're in Kansas. There's not much to do, but there's a mall down the road. We go to this mall as a team. Now, we had some knuckleheads on our team. They were really good at basketball, knuckleheads. Just not the smartest people decision-making-wise. We're going through this mall, and there was a, a, a girl in the uh, – in the mall, and my teammates liked her. They they were attracted to this one. She was beautiful, so I don't blame them, but I was there for basketball, business trip, you know what I mean? <laughs> they talk to the, to the lovely lady. They find out there's a house party going on tonight. Okay, we're not going. We have an AAU basketball tournament in a state that is not ours. I'm pretty sure it was an open period where college recruits come. It was an open period. So there was going to be hella college scouts at our games tomorrow. These guys, knuckleheads. They were like, Man, we going to that party, baby. She's so fun. We going to that party. All right. Not me. I'll be in the hotel room sleeping. I didn't go to the party. We had three guys go to this party. Knuckleheads. Knuckleheads. It's dumb, but very good at basketball. So they go to this party. I'm asleep. I sleep through the night. It's about 3 a.m. We have a game at 9 a.m. the next morning. Open period with college scouts there. I'm asleep. Getting my nice Z's in. You know what I'm saying? I might be drooling, snoring. It was a hard sleep. I was like, ooh, my future relies on tomorrow. I need to have these college scouts like me. I'm going to sleep. At 3 a.m., a burst comes through the door. All three teammates come running inside of our hotel room in a panic. Some of them a little giggling, but you can tell it's an anxious giggle. They're a little scared. They're sweaty. They smell like outside. If you know what outside smells like, that's what they smelled like. Smell like wet, mildewy grass. Why are you sweating at 3 a.m.? Why do you have denim jeans on and an Ed Hardy shirt? The fit is nasty. Why are you wearing it? We have a game at 9 a.m. It's 3 a.m. You're fully clothed like you just went to a, a party. Guess what they did? They went to the house party. Why did they burst in the room, you may ask? They shake me awake. Peyton, Peyton. They wake up everybody else in the room. Guys, get up, get up, get up. We're like, what the hell is happening? Why are y'all in these clothes? What are you doing? They said, we went to that party, bro. It's like, okay, you're dumb, but fine. You went to the party. They say, a guy got denied access to the party because he was the ex-boyfriend of the girl at the mall who invited all of us to the party. Things can only go south from there. He gets denied access because like, hey, bro, we don't want you around her. You're going to cause problems. We're not trying to mess up the night. Go home. He says, all right, I'll be right back. Now, I don't know if you've been outside before. I don't know if you know if somebody says, I'll be right back to a place that they weren't invited to, things are going to be bad. If you hear those magical words, go home immediately. I'm here to teach the people. Some of you may not know. If you hear somebody get denied access and they say, I'll be right back, they're not coming with an invitation saying, I was invited to this party. No, 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 no. They're not. They're coming to wreak havoc on this party. Now, apparently... Also, to any law enforcement watching, this is all just a funny story that I made up in my head. Do not go investigate this. Apparently, this guy, who's the ex-boyfriend of the girl that they met in the mall, that we all met in the mall, that invited us to the party, came back with some machinery that could cause harm on people lethally. That's a good way to put it. And he opens fire on the house driving by he drove by opens fire on the house my teammates were in that party inside of that house luckily thank god nobody got hurt nobody not my teammates not anybody at the party thank god so my teammates come back and tell us this 
They're like, bro, it was crazy. The party was so fun, though. I wish he didn't do that. You wish he didn't do What are you saying to me right now? Go to bed. We have a game tomorrow. You're, you almost got ended because you were trying to have fun when we're here for business. I hate to be that guy, but I got to be that guy sometimes. You're not supposed to be doing what you're doing. We wake up the next morning for our 9 a.m. game. The dudes that went to this party, one of them scored 15, one of them scored 25, the other one scored like 48, and they all got like six offers after this game, and I was like, do you know the frustration that was going through my mind? I was hating, I'm not going to lie. How could I not hate? That's insane behavior. I was trying to get a well-rested sleep in my hotel, and they were out here playing Call of Duty in real life at a house party up until 4 a.m. And they got scholarships. I do not know if that story is going to get out. I honestly do not know if that story is going to come out. And if it did, there's going to be censors and there's going to be stuff cut out. (laughs) So that's the AU story. I got to hold on. We got to take a time out because I got to check if that's okay to tell. This past week was a rough one. I think I had one of the craziest slash worst days of all time. So the other day I was sitting in my apartment, middle of the day. Outside it's about 110 degrees, so inside obviously I need it cool. All of a sudden, it starts to get real hot in my apartment. I'm like, "Uh uh-oh, that's not normal. The AC is supposed to be down. I go and check the thermostat, 87 degrees and it's climbing. I'm like, oh no, no, I'm trying to click the button to make it go down, but it will not go down. My AC went out. That's fine, stuff happens. I call the maintenance team and I'm like, hey, I need y'all to fix the AC, please, because I'm burning up in this sauna of an apartment. They say, okay, don't worry about it. We'll be down there shortly. We want to fix your problems. Thank you so much. That's what I needed. Once they get to my apartment, I'm like, hey, guys, y'all go ahead and fix this. I need to get out of here because I'm burning up. I'm just going to go take a walk outside to get out of this hot box of an apartment. So as I leave my apartment, I go and walk down the street. As I'm walking down the street, it's a very desolate street. Not a lot of people are out there, not a lot of cars. But as I'm walking, I see a car start to creep up towards me, facing me. I'm like, okay, that's fine. They're just driving. That's what you're supposed to do when you're behind the wheel is drive. Something happens that's not supposed to happen. They honk at me. Look out the window. Okay, maybe they know me from the podcast. Maybe they recognize me. I don't know what's going on. The person driving this car all of a sudden decides to bust a Yui. So now that they're driving in the same direction that I'm walking, I'm like, oh no, now my life's in danger. What do you want with me? I don't want to act like I'm too freaked out in the moment. So I just continue to walk and don't pay them any attention. The person driving this car honks the horn at me and rolls down their window slowly. Now I'm in defense mode. I'm starting to panic a little bit. The sweat's starting to curate. I'm getting anxious. I got to make sure I make it home alive to my newly AC apartment. After the person honks their horn, they slowly roll down the window and pull out an object. I could not tell you what this object was. It looked like a mini flamethrower slash blade. I don't know what it was. As soon as they pulled this thing out, I ran. I was running faster than any human has ever ran in their life. Usain Bolt couldn't catch me if he wanted to. I was gone. Once I escaped this lunatic... The maintenance department called me and said, hey, Peyton, will you come back up to your apartment? I'm like, thank God I can just rest and recover in my cool apartment now. I get up to my apartment and the maintenance team is just standing in my living room, hands on hips, looking at me. I'm like, oh, no, this is not a sign of good news at all. The maintenance team looks at me and goes, Peyton, I'm sorry, but whenever we were trying to fix the AC, we messed up your plumbing and your Wi-Fi. What are- What are you saying to me right now? How does that even happen? How are these three things even related at all? How, how does that even happen? How are you trying to fix the AC and then you decide to go mess with some pipes and kick over my modem? How does that even happen? What are you saying to me right now? How do you make a triple crown of mistakes like that? They tell me just for your safety and well-being, you can't sleep here tonight, but we have a model apartment down the road at one of our other properties. It's a studio apartment. I'm like, hey, mistakes happen. That's all right. They give me the keys. I go to this model apartment down the street. I'm like, as long as I got a place to lay my head tonight and there's nice ventilation coming through those vents, I'm going to be just okay. But as I step into this model studio apartment, 89 degrees in there. How does this fix the situation at all? This is not okay. Eventually, the temperature goes down. I'm like, thank God. But as I'm sitting there in the first 10 minutes of me being in this model apartment, I kill six spiders. How many insects can be in one room at a time? Are they having a reunion here? How does this happen? And now it's time for me to get ready for bed. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to take a shower. 
I didn't think to remember that this is a model apartment. People come in and tour these apartments. There is a camera in the middle of the apartment that can see everything. So as I go to the bathroom and get ready for the shower, I'm like, ah, I left my phone outside. I gotta listen to music whenever I'm showering. I gotta have a mini concert in here or it's just gonna be my thoughts and I don't want that. So me being prepared to shower, not having any clothing on, I go and run out to the living room. So as I'm running into the living room, all of a sudden it hits me, oh no, there's surveillance in here. I look behind me, that camera is having a perfect shot of my body. Do you know how fast I ran waddled back into that bathroom and then had to sit with the thought of there might be a team of 30 people observing my body before I get into the shower? Instant sweats and anxiety happening. I tell you that this gets even worse because as I'm sleeping and going to bed, it's a studio apartment, so the bed is right by the front door. If you open that door, you're on the bed. That's just how it works. So I'm getting a good night of rest and all of a sudden I wake up to the door unlocking click click somebody's trying to get into this apartment right now while well, i'm sleeping i just got chased by a car i killed six spiders and now somebody's got a naked video of me running around on the surveillance camera i'm woken up out of the middle of my sleep i'm not a functioning human when i wake up so i didn't get up fast enough to stop them from opening the door i kid you not a man that i've never seen before i swear this dude is about seven foot three walks into the apartment i'm staying at and is just looking at me look at him looking at me i'm like i'm in here this dude has the nerve to look at me and go <laughs> my bad what what was the chuckle for and yeah it is your bad what do you mean you don't knock on doors why are you laughing at me i'm just trying to get a slumber here i'm telling you that was one of the craziest slash most unfortunate days that i've ever had in my life i need to take a break from telling so many stories because i have more to tell about crazy stuff that's happened but i just need a the second to recover because I'm starting to sweat. I'm having bad flashbacks. This is, this is rough. But with that being said, guys, thank you so much for coming back on another Monday. I know that this episode was all over the place and it was weird and I started off weird, but I'm a weird dude. And that's just how the cookie crumbles. I needed to get my glasses real quick because it's the outro. You know what I'm saying? Guys, the secret code for this episode is the cookies crumbling the cookies crumbling that's it tcc i see you guys leaving it on twitter instagram tiktok i see y'all putting those secret codes everywhere we're a secret society huh no one knows about us we're incognito we're low key keep a low profile what are these secret codes you got to be a day one supporter you got to be a loyal a loyal loyal supporter i don't like the way i said loyal there's too much tongue in that sorry but guys tcc is the secret code I love you guys so much. Go ahead. Go to youshinostudios.com right now. Go ahead and pick up some merch. And remember, one out of 10 koala bears don't make it home to Christmas. I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's just getting better every damn week. I love this. The You Should Know Podcast.